everyone. How are you today? I miss you very much. I look like a sheep that needs shearing, but if you can see me, welcome. Let's have some fun. We all know that physical exercise is important to keep us fit, but of course it's becoming even more important in these difficult times for our mental health. So I hope you will have as much fun with me as you can. Um, if you find the exercises are too small or not challenging enough, then I would like you to wear a rucksack on your back. And in the rucksack will be a weight, or a smaller weight, or if you don't want to wear the rucksack, simply have the weights in your hand. You can march just as easily. I've also got ankle weights, which I can strap around my ankle. You might have some of these or round your wrists, but they're very noisy. I don't know if you can hear, so I don't tend to wear them while I'm filming. But those are options. I try and give options, as you know, all the way through. So you just do what you like, what suits you, and then we can all have some fun together. Good, so I'll find us some nice music now um, to get going. Thank you for letting me know about the music. Lots of requests for ABBA, so that's what we're starting with. But first, let's take a nice strong stance. I hope you've got some space at home and take some breaths in. It's hard to know how it is in all your individual homes. It's difficult working to uh, a sort of vacuum, but I know you're there and thank you so much for your feedback. Makes all the difference. One more breath. And off we'll go. There we are, dancing queens. Good. So feet a little further apart, under the hips, shoulders back and down, that lifts the chest. Good. Stand as tall as you can. Well done. Starting with the shoulders, let's round them through. Good. It's always difficult working on carpet. Working around pets, children, partners, just the elbow now. But we do our best. We need to keep fit. Hold on. Not just physically, but mentally, don't we? Good. Little side step. Other side. Let's have that elbow coming through. And then big as you can. Good. Gently and slowly to begin with. Shaking it out. Good. Little sway side to side. Very nice. Adding the bicep curls for the arms. That's it. Good. Bending the knees. Keeping the tummy pulled in. Take the arms a little higher. Good. Making the move bigger. Excellent. Okay. Changing the arms. Reach across. So the feet are still now, but the knees are bending. So the weight goes side to side. Flatten the tummy. Go a bit lower. Flatten the back if you can. When you've done it, a time or two, eyes to the floor, reach as low towards your knee as you can. Well done. Stretching through the body, waking everything up. Good. Four, three, two, one. Walk the feet back together or reasonably close. Soften the knees, elbows in, slow twist to the side. Hips facing forward, good. Warming up through the abdomen. If you can take it faster, good. That's it. And anybody who wants, pump, stop, step. That's it. Hips facing forward, very good. Four, three, two, one, release. That's it. Back to the sway. Now it's bigger this time, isn't it? You're warmer now, bicep curls, 
just the same as we did a minute ago. Very nice. Now let the arms go bigger, bigger, right up tall. Up to the cobwebs in the corner. Good. And now change to the stretch across. Stretch, stretch, wider with the legs, bending the knees, and down towards the feet. Far as is comfortable for you. That's it. Four, three, two, one, and back to that waist twist. Side to side, keep the knees and the hips facing forward. Twist, twist. Twist, twist, good. Knee lifts, find your pace. Now you can be measured here or a little bit faster if you can. So naturally the body gets a rhythm going, that's it. And we're gonna tap the knee if you can or towards the knee, that's it. If you want more, you're going to reach forward, that's it, reach, 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 so still the elbows go right back, that's it, the further back they go, the more benefit you get, up to the top, rope climbing, keep those knees high, good, this is the pulse raising section after all, Nearly there, last four. That's it. Three. Just keep moving. You do what works for you. If you've got the weights, well done. And release. Just bend and take a rest. Put the chin back in. Shoulders back down the back. Good. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. That's nice. Three, two, one. Good. Now you can stay like that or just speed it up. Either way, drag the foot along the floor because the resistance of the floor works the inner thighs, the adapters much more. Add the arms, sweep. Good. Or if you're looking for more, sweep over the top. So we raise the pulse without having to go for a jog. Clever, aren't we? That's it. Last two, last one. Okay, you all right? Roll the shoulders. Very nice. Okay, so I'm going to come a bit closer now. And we're going to take one foot forward and one foot back. You know this one? That's us. We're tough. We can do this. Good. So, feet are staying still. Just moving the weight, the body weight, forward and back. Take the arms as high as you can. That's it. And. Slow it down as much as you like. So slow is like up and back. Good. And up. I'm going to do a couple more at this pace. Stay with the faster pace if you prefer it. Good. Now while we're here, we're just going to bend. Bend. Good. Keeping the back straight and the tummy in. That's it. And again. If you can. We're going to take it a bit slower. Good. So down and up. That's it. Now you may have something to hold on to. A chair, a kitchen unit, something like that. Good. But the slower you can take it, the more muscle fibre you'll recruit and the stronger you'll be. Well done. Just side to side. Good. Two steps this 
this way. Two, one, two, one. Now, you can stay with this pace or you can go little ones. Good. So, two big ones, four little ones. That's it. If you want more, turn it into a little jump. Two, three, four. As you go, well done. That's it. Ready to take the other side now. So we've got that step forward and we're rocking. So the feet stay still. We just bend the knees and rock the trunk forward and back. So arms as high as you can. Well done. If you prefer it slow, it's up and back. Good. You get a wider range of movement. I hope you watch the video more than once so you can try lots of different things. Good. So we've got our feet apart. We're just doing those little bends. Take the feet a bit further apart if you can. Hold on if you need to and let's slow it down. Ready? Up, down, and up. Good. So these are known as lunges, as you know. Very good body weight resistance exercise. That's what we love. Lots of resistance. Now build our muscles to be strong and keep us safe and stable. Last one. Good. Just kick it through. All right. One more track. And it's a bit of a sing-along track. So please get a little drink of water if you like or take a break. Just come back in whenever you're ready. I think they sing this at... Um, cricket matches but it's so long since we've had any sport I'm a bit out of date tapping or pick the heel up as far as you can that's it well done get a rhythm going to suit you then let's add some arms pull back back so again the elbows going behind the shoulders Working the big muscles in the back, keeping us strong and safe. If you can, take those arms a little higher. That's it. Have to keep moving around to make sure I'm still in the picture. Good. Four, three, two, one, and release. Tap, tap, tap. Good. When you're ready, you know where I'm going. Pick it up. Slower if you prefer. Choose your pace. Choose your option. I'm taking my hand across, but you can take the elbow to make it more demanding. Well done. Four. Three. Two. Good. Back to behind the tap or the foot raise. Hamstring curl. Adding the arms. Pull. Reach. Pull. Reach. And you might have weights in your arms, of course, in your hands or on your back or around your ankles. It's so all go. So much choice. A la carte exercise, that's what we should call it. Four, three, to the front. Tap, well done. And lift the knee if you can. Hold on if you'd like to. Elbow reach, that's the way. Feeling puffed out yet? I am a bit. Well done, last four, three, two, one. Good, just kick them out and let's have a rest. So bend, bend, 
bend, bend, roll the shoulders back and breathe, and when you're ready, let's reach, reach, and if you can, come up on the toes, that's it, you might want to hold on, good, now putting those together, oh, we're running out of music, reach, and bend, and reach and bend so sadly the music has finished but anybody who wants to 20 more of those why not well done everyone please get a drink of water and a chair because we're going to stretch on the chair in case anybody's watching this who doesn't speak english that was a drink of water Right, okay, sitting down on the chair, I'm going to come forward, in fact, on the chair and hope you can see that I've extended the leg here. So this foot is out, sitting up tall, and of course you can do this standing. Let's angle towards that toe, which is up nice and high. I hope you can see it. The way I've got the camera uh, propped, it's quite difficult to see if that foot's in the frame, but I'm hoping it is because when I rehearsed it was. So that's good. Up there, again, shoulders back and down, that's it, and angle forward. Of course, we have plenty of other stretches, and if you uh, look back through the other videos that I've sent, you'll find plenty of choice there. Uh, but today, I'm just going to show you another one for seated. I'd like to bring this knee up and take it across the other leg okay come in a bit closer now this isn't comfortable for everybody but if you can get here well and good let's circle the ankle there that's it and back the other way if you can let the knee go down that's fine and if you have access to this position go for it maybe you have a cushion underneath to raise your hips above your knee and again the straight back and leaning forward. Good, let's go to the other side. So bring one knee up, take it across if you can. If, as far as you can get it, it's going to be effective for these uh, strong muscles down the side here and into the gluteal muscles in the hips. Let it relax, let's circle the ankle. And I'm hoping to concentrate quite a bit today on hip strengthening and stability but I want to talk to you about queuing queuing in outside the supermarket okay we'll come to that in a moment so while we're here we're still sitting at the front of the chair I'd like you to sit up tall and then just round the lower back let me do it sideways that's it sit up tall and then round the lower back so flexibility for the lower spine but we're going to take it a bit further so once you are rounded can you lean back good just lean back a little way and then sit up again so we're after you should feel the muscles in the front of the tummy turning on yes if you don't have enough space to lean back here then what I do is turn around on the chair. So let me show you like this. I didn't have enough space here, so I'm going to turn around. So I have plenty of space now. So I'm going to soften the base of the back and then lean back. I can feel the strength in the core working. The muscles are holding me there and sit up. We have soft tummies, don't we? But we would like them to be strong. So this is the one to practice. You can hold on to the chair and hold on to the side of the chair, but just make sure that it's not your, your arms that are doing the work, but that your tummy is switched on. Let's turn around and do it the other way. Good, take your time, that's it. Uh, the more of these you do, goes without saying, the better. So sitting up straight and then rounding curve, little soft curve in the base of the spine, leaning back. 
and you don't need to be seated on a chair hold on if you like you can do this lying down or seated on the floor now we've done it seated on the floor a number of times I have noticed by your expressions that it's not your favorite one but that's because it's working strengthening the core so very well done back we go good excellent okay while we're here we'll just do uh, a couple more stretches like feet out to the side that's it reaching up as high as you comfortably can and then over and please hold this stretch as long as you would like to or pause the video you know I always say that and come back and do uh, some more good hold it here and then the twist stretch where we take a hold of the side of the chair pull up tall and then twist around to face the back of the room that's it and release take your time with these but it's motion is lotion isn't it up we sit turn around take your head as well you're looking at the back wall and release in other words the more movement we can take good round to the back like the uh, orthopedic professor I think he was sit up tall turn around when asked about posture what's the best posture to have he said your best posture is your next posture in other words keep moving good okay so let us imagine you have walked up to join a queue for a supermarket first thing you're going to do is simply push your chin back so that your neck settles back on your spine now let me turn sideways to see if I can show you better so most of us walk around like this let's push it back good what usually happens is that your shoulders go back as well so you don't need the fingers anymore they're called chin tucks you pull the chin in that's it if you've had any issues here um, in the C5, C6, the cervical vertebrae up here, this, this will be the remedial exercise you have been given. And it works, let me tell you. It works. Good. So, pulling the chin back, let's look around to the side. That's it. Take your time. And then back to the front. Lots of us do have issues in the neck. Obviously, the head is very heavy. Those of you who've been coming to my classes for a number of years will know the average weight, the weight of the average head. Off we go again. Because it's something I often refer to. The head is so very heavy that we must look after our necks. Drop the ear down to the shoulder. Good. And then the chin to the chest and back to the middle. Let's do it again. Other side ear to the shoulder and when you see children move their heads they just are so flexible aren't they chin down and we lose it as we grow older so let's try again keep practicing ear to shoulder we do our best push this hand down as well and you can be do these stat you can be doing these standing chin to chest good as you know but again I have noticed in my classes that after the first section of the class people like to have a little sit down chin to chest so even when we've only got the chairs as props for stretching I've noticed people like to sit down okay so let's imagine we're in the queue I'm going to stand now put the chair out of the way there's somebody two meters in front and somebody else two meters behind. They will not notice you doing those neck exercises. They will not see you now softening your knees and adding a twist with the shoulders, turn through, that's it. And then back, they won't be seeing this. Pull the tummy in, round you go. This is useful time queuing, let me tell you. Round we go. Good, you need to keep the knees soft. And again. And now we're going to add an arm. 
So as you turn round, take the arm back. Good. And then the other side. And again, take the arm back. Look at the back of the queue. Three people behind you now. That's it, good. So you're standing there. And while you're standing there, you're gonna move your feet. So you're just moving side to side, keeping the body excellent, working away. And then I'd like you to spread the toes. Press down through the sole, through the arch of the foot, onto the heel, other side. Press down, spread the toes. Any Nordic walkers here? I know this is one of the exercises they do at the beginning. Spread the toes. Press down with the sole of the foot through the mid arch and then the heel, other side. Good. And then let's reverse it. Heel down first, then the arch, then the sole, then the toes, heel, and so on. Okay? So we'll just keep those quietly going while we turn our attention to the hands. Nobody's looking, they're all reading their phones or on their phones. And you are going to stretch your fingers out, stretch, 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 and push down at the side, stretch, good. Release, other side, stretch those fingers out, push down as low as you can, good. And again, stretch, extend down towards the ground, good. And the other side, stretch, 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 stretch. Good, back to normal walking. Thumb across the palm. Fold the fingers down, squeeze as tightly as you can. Good, 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 good. And relax, other side. Doesn't matter whether you have the hand here in front or down the side, good, let go. And again, squeeze till you can see the knuckles. Now, most of us have some degree of arthritis, good, and release in our hands. Often seems to affect the extremities first, good. One of the prices we pay for having this great wisdom of old age and experience. And again, stretch as hard as you can, so you will remember that I like very much to concentrate on these extremities and fold in and squeeze as tight as you can. It's the principle of uh, almost like massage, really. It's increased blood flow to the area. Stretch, 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 stretch. And squeeze as tight as you can, which revitalizes it, refreshes as Heineken used to say, oh, I'm sure I'm not supposed to say that, refreshes the parts that otherwise aren't being reached. Last one, stretch, 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 and then squeeze, 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 tight as you can, increased capillarization, small blood vessels in the hands and feet. Unless you do these kind of exercises, they'll just wither and die, and you will lose function and ability and eventually health, and that's when bad things happen, so we won't go there. Excellent, so we've done the hands, well done. Let's go back to the feet. So one foot forward, one foot back, gently bending, that's it, gently bending. We've already done today some ankle stretches, some ankle circling, but you can of course do that. Other way, and in our local supermarket here, while you're queuing, because you can queue three sides of the car park, they'll ask you if you want a trolley or a basket. So if you've got a trolley, and in fact, even if you only need a basket, this is a good reason to have a trolley, you're standing in the queue with a trolley, you've got something to lean on. So of course you can practice your balance. Maybe you don't need it, or maybe you do but it's well worth practicing the balance. I haven't, of course, mentioned my favorite exercises, which are the pelvic floor exercises. So whether you're balancing or just standing queuing, please be squeezing up and releasing down and squeezing up 
and releasing down and squeezing up. Good. So let's imagine you've finished at the supermarket. You've now gone to queue outside the pharmacist, which is another activity that I've been indulging in of late. So you've got two bags of shopping. Fantastic. You've got the weights. So while you're queuing at the pharmacy, let's imagine these are they, they're not. You can be lifting and lowering and lifting and lowering and lifting and lowering even with the feet as well do you have the balance other side good so obviously this is for the biceps now i have tried all of these if people notice you at all in the queue a they're impressed and b they'll start to join in now let's take the elbow up behind that's it for the triceps and the other thing of course you know that I always do when we're doing this I'm working the pelvic floor are you of course you are of course you are I knew that I knew that good and behind that's the way excellent now I want you all to be doing this so that when you've done this video you can speak to each other Phone a friend, as they say, say, did you get any funny looks when you were queuing? I mean, maybe you don't have queues, but we do. Okay, if it's a benign queue, or you know the other people, which is often the way, make it bigger. Add some more lifting, good. Or up, that's it. Have to be a bit careful here. Or my, another of my favorites, Soft knees, and again, if you're in a queue with strangers, you can do this and they won't notice. Down you go to the side. Good. Down you go to the side. So you're making sure that your feet are minimum hip distance apart. Hold on to your trolley or the wall or anything to hand, if you like. And you are making very, very good use of your time. Perfect. I think that's probably enough of those for now. So you get the general gist. That's how we have to look after each other. I'll just put them here in this time. Okay, so that's pretty much it for today, unless you want to come down onto the floor with me. So let's put the fingers together and push away. Anybody who'd like to do a few clams, and this was the hip strengthening and hip stability that I was talking about, we're going to go down onto the floor or you can do some of it in a chair or on a bed that's what people have been doing push down with the hands that's it stretching through the chest uh, and then we'll also do a little bit of work for the core so if you're coming with me um, bear with me while i move the camera down to make sure that it's at the best angle and if you're not, I hope you've enjoyed today. Please let me know what you think and if you'd like more of anything or less of anything. Meantime, stay safe. See you soon. Bye. So I'm going to move this down in such a way that I hope it doesn't make you feel ill. Good. All right. Everybody still with me? We're going to start with some clams. So oh, I need my trusty hippo. There he is. Um, I'd like you to lie on your side, take your time to find the right space as I have to do here. So I've got my feet, my knees are bent, my feet and hips and shoulders are all in one line. My elbow is under my shoulder. If you need a pillow to soften it, go right ahead. You can have one hand here and you could be at that angle if that works better for you okay let's have some music and we can do some clams this is about strengthening and stabilizing hips so simply going to lift that knee up and lower that's right well done lift you may have a hand in front to stabilize any number of cushions, pillows, and support is a good idea. Good. 
very slow. This hip on top of this hip, okay? So we don't fall like that, like this. We stay here, good. Now, tap down with the knee and extend the leg long. Perfect. Tap down. Extend long. Good. Tap down. Extend. In this situation, it's actually easier to take it faster. So if you'd like to do that, go ahead. Everybody else, let's pedal round. So it's like a big circle. Like you're on a penny farthing. That's right, that's what they were called. So pedal round. Good. And then we'll reverse it. Reverse that move. Very nice. Keep going as long as you can. And when you've had enough, rest. And you might need to just rub this area to make it more comfortable. Good. Now, I'd like you to lift the waist and lower it. Lift and lower. If you can, lift the hips off the ground. Very good. Hard work, that. You may prefer to do it from this position. So simply lifting the hips if you can. And lift. If you want to make it more challenging, extend the leg or extend both legs. Maybe one on top of the other, maybe one in front of the other. Play around with it. Do as many as you can because it's a very, very good exercise. And then we rest. Bend the knees again. Top leg's going to go straight, point behind, that's it. Other arm come long, 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 long. And let's lie down and have a long stretch. So all the way along the top, that's the way. One big stretch, good. Everybody okay? Fantastic, so slowly going onto your back, that's it. Now, bring a pillow or a block under the head if you would like to. And feet are flat on the floor. Show me the move we were doing on the chair. Arch the back, flatten the back. Arch the back, flatten the back. I'm trying to bunch up my shirt so you can see what's going on. That's it. Good. So as you flatten, the tummy gets strong and you can bring a leg up. Good. And again, bring a leg up and take it down. As the leg comes up, think of the strength in the tummy. That's it. Well done. Now, if it's available to you, do that move from this position. So both feet are up and you're tapping down. That's it. Slow and strong. Strong in the tummy, yes? If the back arches up, Back to this position. Okay, lift, lift. I'm changing it now. Come with me if you can. If it doesn't suit you, stay with the first one. Well done. Good. And rest. Let's pull the knees in and circle them because that softens the base of the spine and releases the tension. Join me again when you're ready, or pause and repeat. Take the arms wide now, and open one knee to the side. Good. Keep both hips on the ground. That's right, don't let the balancing hip lift. Just come as low as is comfortable for you. Good. This should be within our range. Everybody can do this. Doesn't matter if you open one inch or one foot. It's simply the move to strengthen the hips. That's it. If it's available to you to perform this from here, you'll be getting added bonus. So go for it, give it a go. 
Maybe you do one or two of these, and then maybe you go back to the earlier one. Perfect, one more this side. So these are very, very good for strengthening the tummy, which is the part of the core that is usually the weakest and that we need to work on. One more exercise here. Breathe, relax, lift up the knee, straighten the leg. Good, and replace. Other side, straighten. Good, take your time, lift. Each time thinking about the tummy, well done. You got it. If it's available to you, again, start from here. That's it. How many more can we do? It's much harder when it's slower, isn't it? Speedy cycling that you see a lot of young men doing in the gym. Not cutting it, not cutting it. They need to be older and wiser, don't they? Yay. Last two. Last one. Good. And just roll and soften and relieve the back. When you're ready, come towards me. That's it. And gently pushing ourselves up. We're going to bring the feet to the front. That's it. Take the hip to the other side and take the legs to the other side as well. Because we just need to do those plans on this side and then we're done. Well done. So feet, hips, shoulders in a nice line. Maybe a hip under your arm. Good. Or maybe you're a bit lower. Let's see if we can fit this in. That's it. Open. Close. Good, nice and slow, remember? That's the way. Good. Should be feeling it right into the middle of the hip. Lots of very strong muscles there. Let's look after them. Good, bring the knee forward. Extend the leg. Forward. Stabilise with this hand. Oh, I must stop doing that because you can hear the floorboards underneath, can't you? Takes a while getting the hang of this. Good. Can't wait to get back, even if we do start outside. So now the big cycling. Let me know if you're happy to start outside. Looks like we're going to have a heat wave. So that should be good. Excellent. And now we reverse. Reverse. Good. Reverse. Excellent. Now pointing the leg long, let's take it behind. And resting probably our heads. We're going to take this arm long over the top and extend it. That's good. Lovely long stretch down one side of the body. Don't think we need that just now. Good. Now you can do a lot more stretching if you'd like to, but I think I've had your attention for long enough. So just put your legs anywhere comfortable and I won't, uh, I won't add to the stretching we've already done, but I hope you enjoyed all that I showed you for the work you can do in a queue. And thank you again for joining me. Hope to see you soon. Keep in touch. Bye.